Hello and welcome to GeoMind. In this video, we are going to discuss about Darcy's Law, a very important topic in hydrogeology. And uh, from this topic, most of the time the questions are asked uh, whether it is your gate examination or UPSC GSI examination or assistant geologist examination. Okay. So my name is Swapnil and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to GeoMind. And if you want to join my telegram group, telegram, I have given the link in the description below. Okay. So first of all, uh, there is some trivia about Darcy. So we will talk about that. Who was Darcy? Okay. So uh, Darcy's full name was Henry Darcy. Okay. So Henry Darcy was a French engineer. Okay. And he actually gave that Darcy's law. So in 1856, uh, uh, this guy, Henry Darcy was given a task to actually use the sand to filter the water supply okay, of the city of Dijon in France. And uh, with that, he uh, experimented some things. Okay. And through the experiment, he gave the law, Darcy's law. Okay. So Darcy's law basically says, okay, uh, it is a basically equation which, uh, you know, defines the principles of groundwater flow. Okay. What it defines? It defines the principle or the empirical principle or the you could say the numerical principle of groundwater flow okay and uh, <clears throat> this is what we are going to talk about in today's lecture so uh, straight to the experiment we will go that what henry darcy did okay so uh, henry darcy basically uh, experimented upon a sand sample okay if you can see here in the image you can see that he experimented upon the sand sample okay and it was a tube like sample of sand tube like sample of sand okay and uh, he passed the certain amount of water through it okay and this certain amount of water we have written it as q okay it is also known as discharge rate obviously uh, if we put a volume of water, it will take some time to go from this end to this end, right? So this is known as Q, okay? That is your discharge rate, okay? So what he did, he passed certain amount of water through this tube and uh, basically <clears throat> performed the experiment that how much uh, time it was taken, you know, uh, for, for the water to enter from this end and thus then exit from this end okay and obviously the both ends of the uh, samples were not at the same height it was tilted so this end you could say was at a higher height and this end was at a lower elevation or you could say uh, this this was at higher elevation this was at lower elevation okay so <clears throat> with the experiments he came to some conclusions first was that q that is the discharge rate was directly proportional to delta h so what is delta h here delta h is the elevation difference between these two ends okay first and second end right so you could say the height difference between these two ends. now you know that height is directly proportional to pressure so obviously at this end the the first end the pressure will be high and at this second end the pressure will be the pressure will be low obviously because it has it is at lower elevation right because you know that pressure is equal to rho g h so if rho and g are constant the change in the elevation will <coughs> be directly proportional to the pressure so pressure at one end uh, and the second end okay and the difference is the height difference so obviously q will be proportional to the height difference okay so 
greater the height difference greater the pressure difference and greater will be the discharge rate through this sample second conclusion he came to was that q is inversely proportional to the delta s delta s is basically the distance between these two ends that is the first end and the second end where the pressure uh, monitors known as piezometers okay so he actually put the piezometer here and here to measure the pressure so yahan se leke yahan tak from this end to this end the distance is known as delta s here okay so greater the distance inversely inversely proportional will be the discharge rate it means that greater the length of the sample lower will be the discharge rate okay so these two conclusion he, he came about and the third conclusion it is not written here the third conclusion was q that is the discharge rate is directly proportional to the area that is a cross sectional area of this tube okay so cross sectional area aapka kya hoga ye circle hoga right this cross sectional area will be there so you could say pi r square right so obviously the greater greater the uh, thickness or you could say the diameter of this tube greater uh, flow will be there right discharge rate will be there of water or whatever the fluid that is there so three conclusions are there q is directly proportional to the change in pressure gradient or you could say elevation second is q is inversely proportional to the length of the sample and third is q is directly proportional to the area of the cross section so by combining these three uh, conclusions he came to the end product which is known as darcy's law so this equation is very very important so he came to conclusion that q that is the discharge rate uh, this is basically the uh, units okay volume uh, l l3 is the volume upon time so uh, q is basically volume upon time volume of water uh, by certain time okay so this discharge rate obviously it means that higher volume is uh, there okay if the pressure gradient is high so q is directly proportional to minus k dh upon ds into a okay k here is the constant because obviously these are the proportions so we have to uh, get some constant here to make a equation to k yahan pe kya hai constant hai aur isko hum bolte hain hydraulic conductivity theek hai it is uh, it is the capital k so hydraulic conductivity is the basically the physical parameter okay it depends upon the type of sample you have whether you have sandstone whether you have gravel whether you have shale whether you have granite okay so it depends upon the physical property of the sample okay so it basically says that how easily the fluid or the water can move through the pore spaces of the material pore spaces are these uh, voids which are there in your samples of rock sand gravel whatever okay so obviously if they are interconnected they will have higher hydraulic conductivity to jaise sandstone hai sandstone mein aapke pore spaces zyada rehte hain to hydraulic conductivity bhi zyada rehti so this equation is very very important aapko ye equation dhyan mein rakhni because from this equations most of the time every year the questions are asked okay so q is equal to minus ka dh upon ds यहाँ पे डीएच अपॉन डीएस के आपका प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट है यानी कि डीएस के साथ यानी कि डिस्टेंस के साथ आपका प्रेशर में कितना चेंज आ रहा है ठीक है या एलिवेशन में कितना चेंज आ रहा है प्रेशर या एलिवेशन दोनों एक ही चीज है यहाँ पे सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट डी एच इज इकल टू डी डी एच इज चेंज इन एलिवेशन इट मीन द चेंज इन प्रेशर विद डिस्टेंस ओके नाउ यू माइट बी वॉन्डरिंग दैट वाई देर इज अ माइनस साइन जस्ट इग्नोर दिस साइन दिस साइन इज जस्ट दी एलजेब्रिक करेक्शन Uh, to say that you are you know moving from higher values of pressure to lower values to iske liye yahan pe minus ka sign diya jata hai uh, aapko remember karna hai sirf ka dh upon ds okay this equation minus aapko put nahi karna hai theek hai because ye confusion aapko le aayega so q is equal to minus uh, q is equal to k upon, uh, k is uh, ka dh upon ds is the darcy's equation i hope you got the point Q is the discharge rate, okay? Volume of water passing through the sample with time.
okay so here you can see the typical values of hydraulic conductivity k aur k ki aapki unit hoti hai centimeter per second okay ye aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai <coughs> again k kya hai q is equal to k a dh upon ds a is the cross sectional area of the sample generally ye tube form mein hota hai to isko hum pi r square lete hain theek to k yahan pe hydraulic conductivity hai centimeter per second mein q is discharge rate volume upon time okay it could be meter cube upon second or centimeter cube upon second depending upon uh, the type of units you are taking cgs or kms so here you can see that uh, gravel jaisa gravel hai to gravel ki aapki values dekho kitni fluctuate kar rahi hai sabse zyada 100 cm per second yani ki 1 second mein 100 cm tak water flow karta hai okay वही क्ले की बात करें तो क्ले आप देखो सबसे कम है क्योंकि बहुत ही इम्परवियस ये रॉक होती है पोरस तो होती है लेकिन इम्परवियस होती है क्ले राइट सो दैट्स वाई इन मोस्ट ऑफ द डैम्स द क्ले कोर इज देयर राइट टू प्रिवेंट दी वाटर फ्लो सो टेन टू दी पावर माइनस सिक्स सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड है ना तो इतना ये फ्लो करता है कि भाई माइक्रोमीटर्स uh, uh, में ये फ्लो करता है एक सेकेंड में कुछ माइक्रोमीटर इसमें पानी फ्लो करेगा सो दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी इज द फिजिकल पैरामीटर ऑफ द सैंपल्स और द रॉक्स ओके सो आई होप यू गॉट द पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फॉर यू यू हैव टू यूज द डार्सीज इक्वेशन हियर यूज इक्वल टू के डी एच अपॉन डी एस ओके एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड द के हियर राइट कंडक्टिविटी सारे पैटर्न में पैरामीटर आपको दे रखे हैं डेल्टा एस दे रखा है ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स क्यूज दे रखा है 1.7 सेंटीमीटर क्यूब पर मिनट ओके सो आपको ये सेंटीमीटर पर सेकंड में निकालना है यह ध्यान में रखना ठीक है एंड डी एच इज गिवन 15 सेंटीमीटर दैट इज दी एलिवेशन डिफरेंस मैनोमीटर बेसिकली पिजोमीटर्स होते हैं जो कि पिजोमीटर्स जो कि ग्राउंड वाटर के प्रेशर को नापते हैं सो एलिवेशन डिफरेंस इज और यू कुड से दी प्रेशर डिफरेंस यहां पर एलिवेशन डिफरेंस है basically the pressure difference is 15 cm okay so everything is given here area cross sectional area is given uh, you have to find the cross sectional area by uh, the diameter which is given 10 cm okay to so, yahan se aapko area nikal sakte hain maine bola tha ki area kya hota hai aapka generally circular form mein hota hai okay and through this uh, equation you can find out the k values okay and write down in the comment what is the k value so uh, here are some more uh, formulas for the uh, uh, from the darcy's equation okay so uh, like this is the main formula that is the discharge rate minus ka dh upon uh, dl or ds a ki baat hai okay fir specific discharge isko darcy flux kehte hain q is equal to minus k dh upon dl ye hum baad mein agli video mein discuss karenge theek hai filhal aapko ye cheez dhyan mein rakhni hai you have to remember this thing only that is the darcy's law okay and very very important is the units okay you have to remember the units okay and then there is effective porosity relative poros uh, sorry uh, effective permeability relative permeability intrinsic permeability to ye cheeze hum baad mein dhyan uh, baad mein dekhenge kyunki ek aur formula yahan pe hai q is equal to ka p2 uh, minus p1 or you could say uh, dp upon uh, dl upon l uh, just do it again q is equal to k a yahan pe small k hai uh, upon mu dp upon dl okay <coughs> so yahan pe uh, ye formula alag hai isme k is intrinsic permeability okay intrinsic permeability ओके सो रिमेंबर दिस के इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस के ये आपकी हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी है इन सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड एंड दिस इंट्रेंसिक परमेबिलिटी इज इसकी यूनिट होती है मीटर स्क्वायर ओके तो इसको ध्यान में रखना है आपको ओके एंड इन द म्यू हियर इज द डायनामिक विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ द फ्लूड ओके डायनामिक विस्कॉसिटी so these two formulas you have to remember ye to darcy ka formula hai hi aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai ek aur formula hai jisme intrinsic permeability aapko find karni hoti hai 
और इंट्रेंसिक परमेबिलिटी uh, uh, को हम डार्सी फ्लक्स भी कहते हैं ओके सॉरी इसकी जो यूनिट है इसको हम डार्सी में बोलते हैं ओके मीटर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू डार्सी ओके सो दिस फॉर्मुला वी विल टॉक इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो थॉरोली सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इंट्रेंसिक परमिबिलिटी हैज द यूनिट ऑफ मीटर स्क्वायर एंड हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी हैज द यूनिट ऑफ सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड और मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके लेंथ अपॉन टाइम एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट वेन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी परमेबिलिटी रिलेटिव परमेबिलिटी इफेक्टिव परमेबिलिटी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट द हाइड्रोलिक कंडक्टिविटी दैट इज द के ओके द के हियर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एप The K here is also known as in, uh, in, uh, absolute permeability. Sorry, relative permeability. Okay, relative permeability. Okay, which is the capital A. Okay, in centimeter per second, and the small a that formula, which is Q is equal to small sorry small K upon mu. Uh, uh, dp upon dl okay uh, which dp here is the pressure change yahan pe pressure aa jayega pascals mein okay ye aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai k is intrinsic to intrinsic jo uh, jo permeability hai okay is intrinsic permeability jo hai isko hum bolte hain absolute permeability also ठीक है तो ये कुछ चीजें हैं जो आपको ध्यान में रखनी है ओके एंड फॉर्मुलाज हैं कुछ आपको ध्यान में रखने हैं ये हम आगे भी डिस्कस करेंगे फिलहाल आपको आइडिया हो गया होगा डार्सिस के लॉ का ओके तो इवन इफ यू डो नॉट नो अबाउट दिस यू आर नॉट गेटिंग दिस फॉर्मुलाज ओके दस्ट ऑफ द फॉर्मुलाज दैट आई टॉक्ट अबाउट यू हैव टू यू यू डो नॉट हैव टू वरी अबाउट इट ओनली यू हैव टू वरी अबाउट दी डार्सिस लॉ ओके whether you have got the darcy's law or not okay so you can pause the video and just go through this video again and i hope you will get uh, the darcy's law and in the next video we will also discuss the permeability okay effective permeability kya hoti hai relative permeability kya hoti hai absolute permeability kya hoti hai and how uh, the uh, the synonyms are there okay intrinsic permeability ka synonym kaise hai uh, 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 and dynamic viscosity kya hoti hai ye hum discuss karenge in the next video till then stay safe and goodbye